A key concept that's going to be important for acids and bases is something called delocalization. We actually saw this a little bit in Chem 2A, but we're going to revisit it in a number of different ways in Chem 2B. Let's uh, first explain what the concept means. Delocalization means the ability for a molecule or atom to spread out the electronic charge and thus stabilize itself. So for example, let's say we had two molecules represented by these black circles. You can see we got a small one and a large one. And you see how we have a negative blue charge in both of them. The negative blue charges are the same size. They're representing, say, an electron. Okay. Do you see how here that negative charge is localized or focused in a really small area? And it has very little place to go. This makes this very unstable relative to this one. Here, can you see how the negative charge has the ability to go over a very large space? And thus we call it delocalized, where it is, can spread itself over a very large area. There's a number of ways that we see this in chemistry. But in general, delocalization leads to stabilizing the molecule, and that would be the case on the one on the right. Where did we see this in Chem 2A? We saw this when we did resonance structures at the very end of the quarter. Do you remember drawing resonance structures for something like this? Notice that we could put the double bond up here on the uppermost oxygen, or over here and the oxygen lower to the right. Here, whenever you can move the bond, which is actually a pair of electrons, around the molecule, that molecule becomes delocalized. And thus resonance leads to stability. So this top scenario is a delocalized scenario uh, that is relatively stable compared to this example down below. Where if this example, and if we have this Lewis structure, you see there's nowhere for these lone pairs to go. And there's no bond that can be formed. They are just stuck right here. And because they cannot move around, they are localized directly on the atom that they're sitting on. Because of that, this is relatively more unstable, and that's because it doesn't have a resonance structure or any ability to spread out the negative charge over the molecule. 